as he takes on new responsibilities and increased authority. Empower him with our promoting official, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General David H. Berger. Why it's unique is the reason we're all so super excited this morning, the first African-American general to, to be promoted to four-star general. He is shoulder-wise and he can carry a lot in here, in his heart. He sincerely, genuinely, so 43 years we go from our first African-American general to our first, I think of many more, four-star African-American generals. Commissioned officers, we don't serve for four years or six. And I think Mike's biggest fan club, because I met him a year ago, are the rest of this front row. But now, now it's even bigger. Now he's the spokesman for all of the U.S. forces in Africa, got it later. But just to have your own born into his boss, President of the United States, the Secretary of Defense. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the frocking of Lieutenant General Michael E. Langley. quite part of the ceremony. This is symbolic. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Commonest plan and guidance. We knew that there were some tenants that we had to address the pool of talent that the Marine Corps has, the pool of talent that the Marine Corps needs to keep on to, to be able to execute Force Design 2030. Deeds grew by the inspiration of Frank E. Peterson. Frank E. Peterson. 1979, first African American general, President Roosevelt, 1941, Executive Order 8802. Because diversity is more than race. Diversity is about background, a mindset, attitudes. Because collectively, that's the only way that we're going to be able to maintain a decisive advantage over our strategic competitors. Just leadership like that from then Major Bailey, now Lieutenant General, retired Bailey. He had mentioned me over the years on the defining moments of my career. These moments in time. So thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless you and here with us. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for those who've already paved the way for those who set an example, we know that this is not an accident, it is here. And for the work that he's done these 37 years, we ask that you continue to bless him. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. We invite you to join General Langley and his family for a reception here at the Marine Family Garden and we ask your patience as the garden is reset for the reception. Again, 